London FC TV with Aaron Racine looking ahead to Bath City in the National League South. Aaron, a uh, big game this Sunday for us, massive occasion for the club. How are you feeling going into it? Uh, same as any other game, really. Um, obviously, a bit different because it's on a Sunday. Obviously, the cameras are down, but it doesn't feel any different to me personally. Nothing will change in terms of how we prep, just go into it like any other game. And what are your thoughts going into the game? Yeah, it's obviously a tough one because results are, haven't been good the last three games. Um, but I don't want to keep saying it, but on, statistically we are better than the other team at the games we played. So there's things to be positive about. There's things to um, motivate us going forward into what we're doing. Potentially is doing is going right. We just got to make sure we get both ends of the pitch in terms of both boxes sorted. The main issue you were finding in the last couple of games was perhaps the defence, although it was mostly individual mistakes you felt. Do you think this couple of training sessions this week have put those sort of errors right? Yeah, I think so. Look, I think the... Like I said, we speak, me, Dean and Buddy, and, and the shape that we've got playing and, and the sort of way we're playing it and the principles we're trying to instil, we haven't really considered, I think, two goals in open play and the rest have been sort of set plays, which I think has always been a bit of an issue with us as a club anyway, because we've always quite been the smaller of the teams normally um, so it's just those sort of things we want to try and tighten up on and be better at and like I said individual mistakes I mean it's not uh, throughout the whole season everyone makes mistakes consistently but unfortunately I think the last couple of games there has been some individual errors so it's just a case of sort of nullifying that um, and then like I said sticking to our principles having the belief because we've been playing well in a lot of the games recently and uh, hopefully that comes or proves right this weekend. Looking across the dugouts at our opponents, Bath, they're another side that are in a little bit of a difficult run at the moment, but in a strong position for the playoffs. Played them twice already this season. What's been learnt from those two previous meetings? Um, yes, we played them twice, but also that was a little while ago. So, although it was good to look at the footage back and look at the, the games we played against them, I think they'll still offer different threats this time round. So, I think I haven't really looked too much on how we played or how they played. In the games previously, I think we've been looking forward and how they've been playing recently against their recent oppositions, and obviously just again just focus on us and how we can be better over the last few games. In looking at the team you've got available to you, who's going to be injured? Who might be back in time for it? Um, so yeah, we've got Ruben still potentially out. Um, he's had stitches. I think they came out today, so he'll be slowly getting uh, introduced back in. And then we've got Greg, who will probably be another week or two away, maybe I think. Um, again, Tommy Willard, minor setback, so hoping he'll be back next week as well, training maybe for minutes next weekend. What about uh, in goal, Ollie Wright? Is there any chance that he might be back before the end of this? Ollie season? Wright, yeah, so his again was a, obviously a, a bit of an awkward um, injury, even down at um, his place, Southampton. Their physios have discovered this injury from him, which they're a bit unsure, unsure with too. So they're a time frame three to five weeks. We are touching base with them. Um, Potentially next weekend he might be um, fit and ready, but again, I think it's a, a week by week, day by day situation with him, um, just because the the uniqueness of his injury. Uh, looking elsewhere within the squad, and that's time for football playing and recruitment. Um, we've only got a couple of weeks after the season, probably a week or so until the transfer window is up as well. Is there any room potentially for yourself and Dean and Buddy to bring in anyone? Yeah, there's definitely scope. I think even since we've been here, the club have always been open about, you know, if you want someone or you know someone or someone comes available you can go and get them um, and I think that will be the case with sort of any manager at any level you're always looking to better the squad um, so yeah so obviously open to what's available out there and if we think there's someone out there who can bring something more to the team and add some more quality to the team and push for places and competition then yeah we're open to obviously the availability of other players and uh, I know you said it's just any other game but we have mentioned uh, off camera the amount of scaffolding everywhere. A little bit of a different feel about the place because of Sunday. As someone who's been involved in the club for so long, how significant is a day like Sunday in terms of the crowd that can get behind it and the town getting behind it occasionally? Yeah, I think it's I think it is really big. Like you said, then just for the town, I think it's a really big step um, in the football club's history. And on top of that, in terms of the town's history, so it'll be a really good occasion, and you probably wouldn't want to miss it because you'd never know when this might happen again for us. Um, so anticipating quite a, a big crowd.